Ravi lives in Kolkata and he wants to visit Mumbai. So he went to Kolkata airport and took a flight for Mumbai at 12 noon. Well, the flight took almost an hour. Now, when he reached Mumbai, the time by his watch was 1 p.m. But at Mumbai airport, it was still 12 noon. So, he was confused. Now, what is the reason for this confusion in timings between the two places? Let's find out. Well, the timings of these two places, that is Kolkata and Mumbai, differed because each of these places followed their own local time. That is, the time according to the longitudes that pass through each of these places. The longitude that cross over Kolkata is 88 degree east and the longitude that pass through Mumbai is 73 degree east. Now, what is the difference between these two longitudes? Well, the difference is 88 minus 73 degrees, that is 15 degrees. So, here we find that there is a difference of 15 degrees of longitudes between these two places. Now, what is the time difference between them? Well, we know that 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes. So, 15 degrees equal to 15 into 4 which is equal to 60 minutes or 1 hour. Thus, we can say that there is a difference of 15 degrees or 1 hour between these two places. And since Kolkata lies to the east of Mumbai, so Kolkata is 1 hour ahead of Mumbai. Now, just like Kolkata and Mumbai, if all places on this country follow their own local time, then it will be too much inconvenient for a country like India which has large longitudinal extent. Well, this map shows the longitudinal extent of India and we find that the country extends from 68 degree east longitude to 97 degree east longitude. So, how many longitudes pass in this country all total? Well, the number of longitudes that pass through this country is 97 minus 68 which is equal to 29. So, 29 lines of longitudes pass through this country in total. Therefore, if every place on this country follows their own local time, then there will be 29 local times in total. Now, this will create too much confusion because while traveling interstates or across the states, you will have to adjust your watch constantly. So, in order to avoid such confusion, a uniform time is followed throughout the country. Now, this uniform time is based on the meridian or longitude that passes through the middle of this country. Now, since the longitudinal extent of India is from 68 degree east to 97 degree east, so the mean meridian or the central meridian of this country will be the average of these two longitudes. That is, mean meridian is equal to 97 plus 68 by 2, which is equal to 165 by 2 which is equal to 82.5 degree east. So, 82.5 degree east is the mean meridian or central meridian of India. So, as calculated just now, 82.5 degree east is the mean meridian or central meridian of India. This central meridian is also known as standard meridian. And as we can see here, this standard meridian passes exactly through the middle part of the country and specifically it crosses over Allahabad which is a city in Uttar Pradesh. 
Now, the entire country follows the local time of this standard meridian in order to avoid all kind of confusions regarding time. Now, the local time of standard meridian or central meridian is known as the standard time of that country. And as mentioned earlier, the standard time of India is determined by 82.5 degree east. Well, the standard time of India is known as IST, where I stands for Indian, S stands for standard and T stands for time. Now, let us compare IST or Indian Standard Time with that of another country, say England. Now, for this purpose, we need to identify the longitude that passes through this country. Well, the longitude that passes through England is zero degree longitude or prime meridian. To be more precise, prime meridian specifically passes through Greenwich, London and therefore another name for prime meridian is Greenwich Meridian. Now the local time of prime meridian or Greenwich meridian is known as GMT or Greenwich Mean Time. Now, this GMT or Green Time determines the standard time of the country in England. And to be noted that 82.5 degree east is the standard meridian of India is to the east of prime meridian. For IST, Indian Standard Time, 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of GMT in which mean time. Time difference in IST and which mean time is 5 and a half. So here we find that the time of countries like India and India differs because they belong to different time zones. Now what is the time zone? Let's find out. But before understanding the concept Zone. Let me ask you a question. What is the time difference between IST and GMT? Is it 4 minutes, 4 hours, 30 minutes or 5 hours, 30 minutes? Well, the answer is time difference between GMT and GMT of 5 hours and 30 minutes. So the correct answer is 5 hours, 30 minutes. Till now, understand the concept of time zone. Time zone is defined as a geographic region wherein or within which one time is fixed. Now, the standard time of a particular time zone is determined by standard that passes through that time zone. Now, this map shows the standard meridian of the world. You can see here that meridians at an interval of 15. Now, so that 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes. Therefore, 15 degrees is equal to 15 to 4 is equal to 60 minutes or hour. In other words, we can also say that the time difference is one between two consecutive standard periods or between consecutive time zones. Our entire world is divided into 24 time zones. Now, let me tell you that there are some countries that are too large to have just one time zone. For example, let us consider the case of Russia. Well, we, Russia is the largest country in the world and the extent of Russia is from 90 degree east to 169 degree west. Now, if you calculate the longitude extent of the country, then you will find that 
to the east 180 degree minus 19 degrees which is equal to 161 degrees of longitudes lie to the east of 180 degree longitude now if you consider the western part then you will find that to the west 180 degree minus 169 which is equal to 11 lines of longitudes lie to the western part of the country so now if you add these two then you will find that 172 lines of longitudes pass through russia now within this country if the standard meridians are drawn at an interval of 15 degrees then how many time zones will be there in this country let's find out well time zone will be equal to 172 degree by 15 degrees which approximately equals to 11 time zones so there are approximately 11 time zones in the country of russia so as calculated just now russia contains 11 time zones approximately this is because the longitudinal extent of this country is too large to have just one time zone now just like russia other large countries of the world like canada usa thus we find that large countries have multiple time zones so in today's lesson we first understood the concept of standard time standard time is defined as the local time of standard meridian and this standard meridian usually passes through the middle of the country for example india the standard meridian of india is 82.5 degree east IST is known as the Indian Standard Time and this IST is five and a half hours ahead of GMT or Greenwich Mean Time that is the standard time of the country of England. Then later on we understood the concept of time zone. Our world as I mentioned is divided into 24 time zones. Now, there are some large countries like Russia, USA, Canada, etc. that have multiple time zones because these countries are too large to have just one standard time. So, this brings us to the end of today's discussion on standard time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now